Hi everybody, this is Liam Martin and today we're going to learn about the best tools for virtual assistants. If you're a virtual assistant or if you're an employer trying to hire a virtual assistant, today we're going to go through all of the tools that virtual assistants use that we found inside of Time Doctor that have usually been quite successful with remote teams. So let's go through it. Number one is Google Apps. I would highly suggest that if you're going to hire a virtual assistant, you definitely should deploy Google Apps for business inside of your particular business and you should give your virtual assistant access to Google Apps. So for those of you that don't know, Google Apps is basically just a spreadsheet tool, a presentation tool, a document tool, an email tool, and it's all available in the cloud. So these are collaborative documents. So if your employee is on the other side of the planet, you can work with that person seamlessly, very easily through Google Apps. We use it at Time Doctor, and we have 80 plus people inside of the company, and it still is a fantastic tool for us, and we started when we were 10 people with Google Apps. So I highly suggest, if you're interested in collaborative tools, start with Google Apps. That's the first one that you should touch on. Another tool that I highly suggest is Dropbox for business. Now, there's box.com that you can also check out. They, in essence, do the same thing, but they're a little bit more expensive and they're designed for larger organizations. Dropbox, however, is designed for almost everybody. They really started out as a very young company and they were a, basically a virtual file folder that sits on your computer and those files automatically sync inside of that computer. So if you're moving large scale files like video files or a lot of images or something that takes a long time that you to upload on uh, a Gmail or a Google Apps as an example, using Dropbox is a great secondary option and you can just literally take the Dropbox link and you can put it inside of an email so that your employee can download that large file. Another honorable mention is 15.5. Uh, we've used 15.5 for quite a while inside of Time Doctor, and in essence what 15.5 does is it is a report that should take 15 minutes to write and five minutes to read that identifies what did you do throughout the week and what are you planning on doing next week. And it's a great way, particularly for remote teams, to stay synced up on exactly what they're doing with their time. And you as the manager or the employer, as an example, you need to know what your employees have done throughout the week and what they're planning on doing next week. There's another video that we have inside of this series that can explain all of that for you. I'll link it up here. But fundamentally, 15.5 is a great way to start to basically get your team, get the pulse of your team and understand where they're going in terms of what they did and what they're planning on doing. Time tracking, I mean, I'm gonna be a little bit biased here, but I suggest that you try out Time Doctor. There's plenty of other great tools in the market, but for us, uh, we do, truly do believe that it is one of the best tools, particularly for remote teams and virtual assistants. But if you can't afford something like Time Doctor, literally just have a timesheet, go to Google Apps, put in, get an Excel spreadsheet, or an Excel spreadsheet, a regular spreadsheet inside of Google Apps, and then put in the clock in and clock out times to even just start with that documentation so that you know how long those employees are working inside of your organization. One of the biggest categories that a virtual assistant will do for someone is usually they'll manage their social media profiles. And one of the best tools that we've found to manage your social media platforms is Buffer. Buffer is a great tool. What it in essence allows you to do is let's say you've got tweets, you've got Facebook updates, you've got Instagram photos that you need to push onto your social media profiles. What Buffer will do is it will allow you to put all of that information inside of Buffer and then Buffer will drip feed that inside of all your social media platforms so that you don't have to do it every single day. You can sit down, work on it for the next six months and then for the next six months all of that social media information will just get drip fed into all of your profiles. And that's incredibly powerful if you really want to just have your VA go in, build all of your social media placements and then just forget about it and say okay that's done and set up a Google Calendar reminder in six months to say hey we've got to go and put in another six months of information inside of Buffer. Another honorable mention that I'm going to make is Meet Edgar at meetedgar.com. Meet Edgar is a competitor to Buffer and uh, it's also another one. It's a little bit cheaper than Buffer but it really is another great option that a lot of virtual assistants on 
uh, the Time Doctor Network have been using and we've gotten a lot of feedback saying that it's a fantastic tool. Another thing that you might want to deploy is Canva. So Canva is a tool that basically takes images and allows you to very quickly and easily edit those for Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram and add in captions and just information that you wouldn't really be able to very quickly and easily do without a much more expensive tool like Photoshop as an example. So Canva's very quick, very cheap, very light and it doesn't require that much training to actually use it effectively. So if you need as an example a YouTube uh, thumbnail as an example on this video you check all of the thumbnails on my channel you'll be able to see that there are different wacky thumbnails with different little animations on it. That is all done through tools like Canva and I believe it costs about ten dollars per month. They also have a free plan which is probably going to be able to get you the vast majority of the work that you would need done uh, on that system so I highly suggest you check out Canva. So another thing that your VA is going to have to do is schedule a lot of your meetings and we have a bunch of different tools that we suggest that you deploy if your VA is focusing on booking meetings for you. The first one that I would suggest is World Time Buddy. Now people that don't travel internationally don't really understand how big of a problem this is but sometimes if you want to set up a meeting with somebody in Bali as an example where I'm at right now versus New York there's a huge time difference and you need to figure out the optimal times to be able to meet with those people. So World Time Buddy is a very easy way to put in multiple time zones and then figure out okay if I want to meet with somebody between 8 and 9 p.m. or 8 and 11 p.m. here are the according times for those according time zones that I can actually meet with those people and then you can propose a time that actually is going to be a lot better for that person in comparison to just throwing out times that are opportune for you, which usually ends up in 10 or 12 different emails going back and forth. So World Time Buddy is fantastic. All of our staff use it when we want to book meetings with people that are on different time zones. With regards to online meeting software, this is probably a lot of people might get a little angry about what I'm about to say here. but. I actually think that Skype is still one of the best tools that you can possibly use for online meetings. When we surveyed a lot of our users, we found that Skype is still the most popular option when you want to have video calls with other coworkers or individuals inside of an organization. Skype is still the definitive product. Some honorable mentions is Zoom. So Zoom is really good and it's definitely coming up, but it's a paid product versus Skype that starts off as free. Zoom is definitely a better product, but it is a product that you pay for. So you have to kind of look at those two different products and see where how important video communication is to you. And then another one that's a really great honorable mention is join.me. So join.me is really great if you're doing sales calls as an example. You can literally send someone a URL, they can put that URL inside of the browser and then they can see your screen and they, and they can also share their screen with you directly through the browser. So it's really easy to be able to do it and uh, to me, it's great if someone doesn't have Skype as an example or doesn't want to install Zoom, join.me is a really quick and easy way to be able to get people to collaborate on meetings. Last thing I'm going to mention here is with the rise of Alexa and Cortana and uh, Google Home, a lot of the tasks that I would have given to a virtual assistant, I now handle through my virtual virtual assistant, my AI. I personally use Google Home. Alexa will do this, or Cortana is not all that good. It really is between Alexa and Google. But as an example, if you completely integrate Google Home inside of your home, you'll be able to very quickly get things like reminders of, hey, I need to be at this particular meeting at this time, and Google will literally tell you, you need to leave your house now for that meeting. Or it can set up automatic reminders for you, or, or it can, tell you how your day is going, what what things you have on your calendar and if you work with a virtual assistant making sure that you're using Google Apps as an example, it's a perfect sync to have your virtual assistant put information into your Google Calendar and then have all of those pieces connect through Google Home which in essence just ties all of this process together so that you'll never forget a meeting uh, ever again. So. If you're interested in those tools, uh, check them out. We've linked them down below. 
And if you have any other questions, please leave a comment and let us know of any other tools that you use actually as a virtual assistant. I'd love to be able to find that out. And other than that, I'll see you in the next video.